Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. Add Jenkins to the growing list of communities dealing with wildland fires. Police Chief Jim Stevens said at least three fires are burning in Jenkins, including a large blaze on Pine Mountain along the Virginia-Kentucky border. What we're looking at right now is the, the, uh, the, the leaves and all the fuel, all the dead leaves and dead branches are laying on the ground. We really don't have too much into the trees. Uh, what we're getting is the, the fuel level that has been there for years. We haven't had a, a forest fire to burn up all this stuff for so long that it's got a lot of, of fuel to go. The Jenkins fires, which have been fueled by dry, breezy conditions, come as other fires across the region continue to burn. Crews have made progress on the largest of the local fires in the Shelby Valley area, and the fire, while still burning, is now contained. One part of the progress came in the form of turning the fire away from Parkview Nursing Home by way of the Kentucky Division of Forestry, backsetting the approaching fire. The Forestry Service by law is the only agency allowed to set back burns. Which it's still going to burn. There's a lot of unburned areas. It's still needs to burn out. Um, but as far as this fire itself, it's contained and um, right now it's just waiting for it to burn out. In Jenkins, local and state agencies are working to get a grip on the fires there. Chief Stevens said residents near active fires should remain aware of the proximity of the fires to property and structures. In the premier subdivision community of Jenkins, residents monitored a wildfire that was approaching the community throughout the night and into Thursday morning. Well, I couldn't hardly breathe, smoky, pretty hectic at times. So it, uh, smoke was in here, a lot of people couldn't breathe. Chief Stevens said, however, that residents should not panic. Uh, best thing people can do right now, though, is, is clear around their, their, uh, their buildings, their homes, their outbuildings and such. Uh, clear all the dead leaves and stuff away. Uh, and, and remember that unless it gets right up on your house, you're going to be all right. We need to burn this, dead, this old dead fuel out of here, and that'll keep it from getting bigger. Uh, if you do have a fire uh, within a couple hundred yards of your house, please contact the fire department and we'll head out there and take care of it. Airdrops of water began on the Pine Mountain fire in Jenkins late Thursday afternoon. Local and state first responders are hoping that rain comes soon to the fire affected areas. Reporting in Jenkins for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.